Hey everybody, uh, lately I've had a few customers ask me how to configure DHCP in uh, NSXT logical segment. So we're gonna spend the next five minutes just running through that configuration real quick. It's really quite simple. So uh, here we go, let's get started. First and foremost, you're gonna go to your networking tab in your NSX manager and you're gonna configure a DHCP profile, okay? I've already done this in my environment. All you need is an IP address. This is going to be the IP address of the DHCP server that's handing out IPs to your subnets, okay? That's all you need to do. You assign it to a cluster, you give it a name, and you save, okay? Again, it can be any IP, just not something overlapping uh, with an existing network in your environment. The second step is you actually need to attach that to a gateway in your environment or a router so that way the segments on that gateway can use the server to, for, to get DHCP IPs. So I'll show you what I've done here. I have my VDI uh, tier one gateway. All you do is upon creation you assign it a DHCP type and profile. I've chosen server. You can also um, do DHCP relay if there's something if you want to host DHCP somewhere else, like on a Microsoft server or upstream, I've chosen to let NSX host this. So I'm using DHCP server in that profile that I just created a moment ago uh, in the previous screen. Okay. Uh, once that's attached to the tier one, it, it's really just configuring the segments. The only thing I'll note is uh, make sure you configure this right the first time. If you make a mistake or uh, do the wrong DHCP configuration here and you need to redo it, you actually will need to recreate the tier one, which not the end of the world, but you know, better safe than sorry. Just make sure you double check and get that configuration right uh, the first time. After you configure your DHCP server, after you attach it to a tier one gateway, all you have to do is configure your segments and then give them an IP pool. Okay, so I'm going to create a segment. This is going to be overlay DHCP test. I'm going to attach it. This is important to that tier zero that I just assigned the DHCP server to. Uh, it's going to be an overlay segment, so using Geneve overlay. And I'm just going to give this segment a default gateway, so 10.10.70.1 slash 24. And then this, before you click apply, you just have to set the DHCP configuration. So it's going to auto select that DHCP profile that I selected earlier, but you still have your other options. Uh, again, gateway DHCP is what we're using here. Uh, all I need to do is give it a range. So this is the pool of IPs that it's going to hand out to the VMs on these networks. So I've given it a range of 10 through 100 in that. Uh, you can also give it CIDR format. You can, you can come in and configure options for DHCP if you need other options. I personally do not. All I need is my default gateway and I also want to configure DNS. That way the VMs that pull addresses from this pool can resolve DNS. So everything looks good here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Double check my logical switch configuration. Everything looks good. So I'm going to save. Now that I've created that overlay DHCP test segment, the last, the only real step is to attach VMs and see if they pull IPs. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got a, a test VM over here that I'm going to go ahead and throw into that new network that we just created. DHCP test, let's throw them in there. And I'll go ahead into that virtual machine and do IP config slash release and renew. And voila, we've got a 10.10.70 address that we just created using that DHCP pool, okay? Uh, again, once you've, once you've done the config on, on your server and your gateway, it's really just doing the configuration on those individual segments. Now, uh, I did this configuration via the GUI, but of course, especially once you have your DHCP and gateways configured, you could easily do this with an automation tool. I, I like Terraform. A lot of people like Power NSX, so Power CLI-based tool, PowerShell-based tool, and Ansible, but 
you, uh, just that was a quick walkthrough of how to configure DHCP, get it working on an NSX logical segment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye.